Hey, this is Dr. Bob with Carolina Value Pet Care. I wanted to introduce to you a pretty significant change we're making in our vaccines for dogs, in particular or specifically uh, for what we call the Bordetella vaccine. Now, we've been giving the Bordetella vaccine for years. It's for a form of kennel cough. Now, the dogs that are most at risk and actually definitely in need of getting the Bordetella vaccine are those social dogs, those party animals that love to go to uh, to doggy daycare, to pet stores with their, with their owners, um, walks in the neighborhood, um, gosh, grooming uh, facilities, boarding facilities, uh, dog parks, areas where they're going to be in actually in, in sort of a communion with, with other dogs. Now, the Bordetella, again, is a, is a highly contagious bacterial infection. Um, again, we have been protecting your dogs against it for years. But we actually now have a new sort of call it an enhanced version of the Bortella vaccine. Now we've been giving it for by mouth for years and we're still going to be giving it the same way. It's actually going to be more of a like a, a mist um, kind of illustrated on this uh, brochure here. You can see it's coming up from the uh, from the stem of this vaccine or from the syringe and is actually squirting a mist into the mouth of your dog and not sort of like a jet of uh, like of a, of a liquid. So the difference is with the new vaccine is not only going to be protected against Bordetella, but also what we call para-influenza. Now para-influenza is already, there's a form of para-influenza that's already in your dog's distemper parvo vaccine that we give annually or every three years, depending on, on the dog. Um, and that form is actually going to be more protective of for the, for the internal organs, whereas the new Bordetella um, has the parainfluenza, which is gonna be more protective against upper respiratory infections. As I give this presentation, it's mid-November, 2022. Um, in this region, throughout the Piedmont, pr primarily in like Greensboro and Charlotte, there is a huge, huge issue with upper respiratory infections uh, raging across the, uh, the region. And unfortunately, um, the, the three main causes of these upper respiratory infections involve Bordetella, parainfluenza, and a different virus called canine flu. So we are introducing this and we are actually making it a part of the package of the core vaccines that we recommend for your dogs along with, with the distemper parvo and along with the rabies. As far as the frequency, um, it is a one year vaccine. However, under the current circumstances with the uh, sort of the pandemic or epidemic of the coughing dog issues, it is now recommended uh, to give it every six months, okay? Um, and again, once we get through this episodes or these issues, then we will resume going back to, to once a year. Otherwise, um, again, if you've got a dog that's going to boarding facilities, going to doggy daycare, going to doggy parks, going to shopping with you, going to festivals with you, Highly, highly, highly recommend that you get uh, keep your dog current on the Bordetella. And if your dog is actually uh, due for the vaccine, obviously that's the one you'll be getting. If your dog is actually going to be boarding in any, gosh, over the holidays, we've got Thanksgiving coming up, got the Christmas holidays coming up. If your dog is getting near due or going to be exposed to a lot of dogs um, in a in kind of a different kind of environment, um, certainly definitely give consideration to go ahead and getting the vaccine, even if your dog is not quite due as an added layer of protection or security to try to protect your dog, uh, especially with, uh, with the issues going on currently with the uh, upper respiratory infections. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit of insight to this new vaccine. Uh, we're, we're excited about the, the um, effect of being able to protect your dog in a better, more enhanced way. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Thanks for, thanks for joining us.